If I can get this guy down to his law stand peps. I have a shield, which is going to help. <laughs> Am I seriously? Yep, we took that guy out. Okay, so today I'm going to be talking about beacons. And my idea was to possibly turn this into a pro tips series where I talk about things like uh, strategies, tactics, and I maybe showcase that as well. Uh, but also how to spend your resources, how to, uh, you know, build your robots and your weapons faster, how to upgrade quicker, how to make more silver, things like that. I'm hoping that uh, this kind of interests you guys. If it does, let me know in the comment section down below. And uh, also, if you want to see more videos like this, make sure to leave a thumbs up. So I think what I'm going to do here is we're going to run two games with this hangar. Um, I have the Phantom. If you're wondering about the uh, Rhino, I didn't get to run this robot in the recent Dream Hangers video on Thursday. So I figured, you know what, why not? Um, we have the Fenrir, we have the Hawk, and the Behemoth with Avalanche setup, which I think I did recently with the evolution of the Butch. If you happen to miss that video, I'll put a link to that, uh, you know, in the video description. And there should be a card which pops up in the top right corner of your screen as well. Um, and then we have the, uh, the Minos. Okay, so I'm going to run two games, and I'm hoping I'm going to be able to showcase... Uh, my thinking behind which beacons I target on the map depending on what's happening in the game. And I think this is really important because once players learn to master it, um, you're going to find that you win more games. And if you win more games, you're going to make more uh, gold, more silver, get more honor points, which leads to even more uh, you know, resources like components, uh, event coins, and things like that. So um, yeah, having said that, let's hop into a game here and let's see how we do with this lineup. Okay, so the first thing I usually do is when I drop in, I look to see which are the two closest beacons to my home spawn. So in this case, it's actually going to be the platform beacon and probably the center, I would say, is going to be the next one. But I also don't want the, uh, the red team to get this beacon, so I'm going to go for this beacon over here. Always try to go for the beacons that are the weakly defended ones. So in this case, it's going to be... Um, you know, obviously this one here, there was no one here. They do have a player by the uh, farm there. But I'm keeping an eye on that. Um, I want to see if I can actually try to get that beacon. So let's try to see if we can maybe make our way over there. It's always a good idea to run for areas where there's not many players. This way, if you capture it, um, especially in Beacon Rush, your whole team can drop in there and help you out. So let's, let's see if we can get to this beacon here. I'm hoping uh, no one sees me. I'm being very sneaky here with this uh, phantom. But someone could easily just drop in. If they're paying attention and they are smart players, they will see me. So we're changing this now. There's no one here. Yep, he's coming back. It's too late. I already got this beacon. So we were lucky. We were lucky. And now I'm, I'm actually going to be fighting on this beacon here because I don't want these guys to get it. And remember, once uh, you know we have this beacon, my teammates can move in and help me out. This player is actually almost out here. There's another one that's going to help him out. Um, where is my teammate? I think he's going to drop in here. Where is he? There we go. So there's too many players on this beacon. So one thing that I always do is before I drop, when I drop into like any point on the map, I look to see where the players are. So for example, over here, I'm going to drop in over there. There's actually a player here, which I can get. Take him out. So you see what I did? I looked at the map, the mini map, except I can't look at it now. And I look to see where the arrows are pointed at. The red arrows. So if they're all pointed at a certain beacon, you know there's a lot of players that are going to be attacking that beacon. Then you want to decide, should you defend it or uh, should you perhaps go for another beacon? Um, you know, one that isn't uh, guarded as much. Let's take this guy out here. I'm going to go into a phase shift. I know I can't capture this beacon. That other guy's probably going to drop in over here. Um, if I can get this guy down to his last stand peps. I have a shield, which is going to help. <laughs> Am I seriously? Yep, we took that guy out. Okay, so we have the center here. 
Just looking around to see where the red team is going. And once again, if you take a look at this, they're all stacking up over here. They, the red arrows are pointed here. So I'm going to drop in on this side to defend it. Okay. Let's deal with this guy here first. If I can take out this hawk and bust his shield, that would be good. Okay, so he's now down to his last stand. Let's deal with him quickly. There we go. This other guy is going to be... He's actually almost out here, but I don't want to get off this beacon. Which is going to be a whole nother topic I'm going to cover as well. Uh, in this series, if I decide to continue uh, with it. I'm trying to take this guy out. There we go. Okay, so once again, I'm going to look at the uh, mini-map here. And there's a play. So you see how there's no one there. I'm going to drop in and defend the center because there's someone that is making his way over here that uh, we need to get rid of. And if you take a look at that beacon over there, it's not being defended. Okay, so we have we have to worry about that. Uh, this guy is moving in that direction. I guess I'm going to try to see if I can stop him with this. And if he kills me, then at least I have my, uh, my Minos. Let's just fire everything here. Better to do this and him take me out and then I can drop in on that side. Although he is taking on a lot more damage than he probably wants. I actually took him out. So it looks like they got that beacon. The other thing you want to also be careful of is um, dropping in at a beacon where there's so many players that, uh, you know, when you do drop in, you get, uh, you get totally wiped out. So you have to be careful of that. So, for example, you see that Ao Ming back there. I think he's going he's gonna to be in a lot of trouble there because there's so many players. Over I'm just trying to fire in that direction, hoping the splash knocks some shields down. Um, let's see what's going on here. So, we have... So, you see how this player, the arrow is pointed towards the side? I know it's a Nightingale. But also, I know there's one player on the, pa um, on the platform. So, I'm looking at the direction of the arrows to see what's happening here. Let's drop in over here at the farm. We're going to deal with this guy here first. Okay. And uh, once again, just looking at the map. Looking to see which beacon is not being guarded. Um, this one here is kind of on the weak side, but we have two players on this side. So again, I'm just looking to see what's happening. We're going to get that beacon over there. Notice how this player is kind of sneaking by. He wants to move closer to the center here. So I'm going to try to help out my uh, my teammate. We can focus this Nodens down. I think he made a bit of a mistake there. Let's deal with him quickly. There we go. He's going to that beacon. And if you're not sure, you can always switch to the uh, mini-map. Now this, yep, we got to be careful of that side. Okay, let's go into flight here. And uh, see if I can perhaps make my way over to this side. Although I think this guy's going to be dropping in on this side. I wouldn't be surprised if he drops in right in front of me here. I'm expecting something like that to happen. Um, do we have someone? Okay, so you see how there's a player. You can see the arrow. He's, he's pointed in this direction. I'm going to drop in here with my Titan to defend it. I don't want to use my reflector shield because if he goes into flight, I'm going to need that to defend myself uh, with. And now it's a matter of looking to see which beacons are covered. And if you take a look at center, there's no one at center, no one by the uh, dam and uh, this side. But we only have two players here. So if they do decide to attack a beacon, so you see what I'm going to do is I'm going to run back here. Let's just use my shield. Because he's trying to get to that beacon. So I think he realized what I was going to do. 
But that's kind of how I analyze a game and I target certain beacons on the map. And if you learn to master this, you're going to find that you actually win more games. And if you win more games, you make more silver, you uh, get more gold, uh, more keys as well. And uh, also more honor points, okay? Because with honor points, you can get things like more event coins, uh, do um, you know your daily tasks or your bonus tasks a lot quicker, uh, things like that. So we got seven beacons here. This is kind of how I stacked up. So not a high scoring game, but that wasn't the whole point of this video. It was more to focus on beacons and which beacons to target. And you know, there you go. So I'm gonna run another game now. Um, and then I'm hoping that we get a different map so that you guys can see how I put this all into practice. And uh, hopefully we get another win. Okay, so once again, we have dropped in with the Phantom. And what I wanna look at is where are the closest beacons to my home spawn? So we have a beacon uh, over there and then either the left or the right side or even the center can work, but it's better to get beacons that are closer uh, to areas that have a lot of cover. So I'm going to move on over to this side just to make sure that, uh, you know, I help my uh, buddy out here. And uh, let's try to uh, defend. There's a lot of players here. So one thing that you have to be careful of here in this kind of situation, if this was a beacon rush because we're playing domination, if there's four guys that are going to attack this beacon, don't drop in because it's going to be you versus four. It's better to drop in elsewhere and attack a beacon that is being less guarded. This way you preserve your um, your bots and uh, you're able to uh, capture beacons too and help your team out that way. So I'm just staying close to this beacon just in case uh, these guys do uh, end up uh, you know, going for that. I just noticed uh, Justice is, uh, you know, in this game as well. What is this guy in? Yeah, I thought it was a Scorpion. I knew it was either Scorpion or it was... Oh, wait. It's either going to be a Scorpion or something else like a Loki. This guy's gone into... Uh, it's gone into phase. I try to get that Scorpion there because I know they're going to be attacking on that left side. Uh, let me drop in with my Behemoth. And uh, once again, you always want to look to see the, um, you know, the weight of the game. So for example, there's more players probably around center, gravitating more to the right side, I would say. Oh, wait. We have this uh, leech moving into a center here. I'm not going to target him. I'm going to try to target guys over there. Hold up, waiting for his... He's gone into phase shift. The thing is, he can't capture a beacon like that. There we go. And uh, once again, you want to guard your closest home beacons if you can. I'm just going to fire in that direction. Maybe I can take out that uh, player there. And um, I think my teammate... I don't know. He's not going to be able to hold that beacon. So I'm going to move over to this side. Not sure what this guy's in, but he is almost dead here. Okay, so here's a good example. So you see how there's three players on the left side. I probably don't want to stack up too much on that side, because if I do, who's going to be guarding this beacon? So I want to make sure that we have this side uh, guarded. We already have an Arthur moving into center. This is going to be kind of interesting. I wonder how much damage I'm going to do to this guy. Um... Okay, so once again, I'm looking at the flow of the game. Where are all the players? They are mostly in center, which means I probably need a bot which can defend, um, you know, this attack that's going to be happening here. Also, where are the beacons that are least guarded? So you see how that player is going to the right side? That is the right move. So where he's going there is the right move. Um... You know what, let's just charge this guy because I can probably take out this Arthur. I don't think he has much of a shield left here. So I'm just going to do that. Let's hit him with that. Let's put my shield up. I'm going to go into a phase shift here just so that, you know, my teammates can help push these guys back. I tried to get the center beacon, I couldn't get it. Let's drop in with the Hawk next. And uh, once again, looking to see where most of the players are. We have one player over here. 
Um, but he is uh, being protected by another player over there. The left side looks like it's weak. And the center as well. So I'm going to help out uh, on the left side. See if we can get this beacon here. We just target this guy. And we have a player moving into a center. It's Justice. Trying to uh, slow him down here. So he's moving towards that beacon. So I want to make sure that our home beacons are being protected. So you see how this player here, he's moving away from this beacon in front of me. That means that Justice is going to get that beacon there. Because my teammate is he's getting off that beacon. Okay, so I want to make sure that I help him out. So you see how he got he, he got this beacon here. So we're going to try to deal with him. He's just going to phase shift. And I can go into phase shift because, remember, my teammates are on this beacon. So let's do that. Okay. We have the left side covered. What's happening on the right side? Uh, my teammate might need some help here. So I'm going to move on over to this side. Uh, actually, wait. Do they have... We can probably actually go for a center. I'm going to move this way, though, because my teammate needs my help here. Let me take that guy out. Let's deal with this player. And once again, I'm looking to see what's happening here. This guy might be in a scorpion, not sure. Looking across the battlefield, what's happening on the left side? How many players are there? Uh, we have the center covered. We have three beacons. I think we're in pretty good shape. But I am going to be attacking that beacon in front of us. Okay, so... Just trying to deal with that guy here first. So you see what I'm doing? I'm attacking all the uh, beacons that are not being uh, heavily guarded. There's a guy that's probably going to shoot me in my back here. I saw that Ming. And now we have four beacons. And once I get this beacon, I look across the field to see which beacon is not being defended and which beacon needs to be defended too so this one that i'm on we need to defend this so i'm gonna defend this and i think i'm gonna land up oh. <laughs> i was gonna land on his head but um you know that's a pretty good example i would say of uh domination mode so one thing i wanted to mention too is if you have three or four players charging a beacon um, it's your home beacon. You have to be careful of, uh, you know, dropping in or trying to defend it unless it's really close to your home spawn. Because if you do that, you are probably going to lose that bot really quickly. Because remember, it's going to be you versus four. Instead, if you can drop or, you know, move to another part of the map which is not guarded, get that beacon. And that way you can kind of run the other team's beacon bar down. But uh, anyways, uh, let me know in the comment section below if these tips were able to help you guys win games. And uh, once again, if you would like to see more videos like this, uh, not just tactics or strategy, but also uh, things like, you know, how to make more silver or more gold in the game, uh, let me know in the comment section down below. And I think that's pretty much it. So thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to give this video a thumbs up. And if you haven't yet subscribed, consider subscribing. Until the next video, I'll catch you guys later.